it's very rare for a central CNS process to present in isolation, causing uh, both upper and lower face weakness in a pattern of facial nerve palsy. But when it does, we can think of a lesion affecting the facial motor nucleus or the motor fibers itself being affected by that central process, such as a stroke or MS or other pathologies. Um, but it must be a very small lesion, just affecting the nucleus or the fibers itself to present only as facial weakness and no other symptoms. That's very rare. Typically what happens is if a stroke, for example, affects the area of the pons, there's going to be other surrounding structures and those will be influenced by the lesion. Uh, the two main uh, examples of uh, such scenario are Miller-Gubler syndrome and the Fobin syndrome. So what are those two? So now we have, we know we have multiple pathways and nuclei in the pons, um, including uh, the uh, sensory pathways going up in the uh, medial lemniscus path. Uh, we have some of the sym sympathetic fibers, uh, we have other nuclei, but then uh, we have the motor uh, fibers in the corticospinal tract going down, still ipsilateral uh, to where they originated from, and they will decussate at the level of the lower medulla down there. Uh, but uh, if, if a stroke, for example, um, affects the basis pontus, the front of the pons, um, those fibers in the corticospinal tract, which pass through right there, will be affected. Um, and then sometimes you're going to also have the involvement of the facial motor uh, fibers. And your patient presents with combination of contralateral arm and leg weakness and um, ipsilateral upper and lower face weakness in uh, a syndrome called Miller-Gubler syndrome. Another important syndrome to know about the pons is when the tegmental pons, the back of the pons is involved. And as you know, uh, so the facial nucleus is right in front of the fourth ventricle um, and next to it medially, you're gonna have the abducens nucleus. Um, so in this syndrome, uh, if this area is affected, uh, your patient would present with uh, ipsilateral upper and lower face, as well as ipsilateral deficit in um, abducens nerve palsy. So there's going to be abduction uh, deficits ipsilaterally in a syndrome called the Foville syndrome.